Welcome to the Great Exodus series. God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael and I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And today our topic is a revelation that the Holy Spirit has given me in the last days. The topic is to understand what is coming you need to understand what was before. I repeat that again. To understand what is coming, you need to understand what was before. In the revelation that I received from the Holy Spirit, I saw two parallel timelines. And in these two parallel pa timelines, the opposite parts of in each, each timeline had the same point. I give you an example. It started with, on the left side, <coughs> it started with uh, Genesis. And on the right side, it was new heaven and new earth. And then when I saw this one, I said, oh, there's something very important coming from the Holy Spirit. Then I saw the next, I saw paradise in the, in the left timeline. I saw Genesis, creation, I saw paradise, then I saw Satan, then I saw the Old Testament, the Jewish period, then I saw oh, and the temples, and then I saw Jesus then the first Christian assemblies and the hunting down of the Christians during the Roman period. And then I saw the start of the church age with the establishment of the Catholic Church. And then it ended, that timeline. And then I looked at the top. And at the top was a great point, like a tipping point. There was like a tipping point in the middle. And there was a number over this tipping point. And that tipping point was 1054. You say, what? 1054? I, I had a feeling that it has nothing to do with, with Strong's. So I, I was looking. Now we have a timeline. So is there anything that happened in 1054? Of course, I looked it up. And what did I see? The great schism between East and West. The separation from the Catholic and the Eastern Orthodox Church. This was the tipping point. And then what happened on the other timeline, on the right timeline? What did I see there? I see there, after the tipping point, the church age. And then, after the church age, comes the hunting down of Christians and at the same time a restoration, a restoration of all things. And then I saw Jesus on Mount Zion and then I saw a brand new temple that was built. And when the temple was built, I saw all Jewish people I know that the time has come for the Jewish people at this time. And then suddenly Satan appeared. And then after Satan's time was over, what did I see? Paradise. The Garden of Eden was there. And then after the Paradise period had finished, what did I see? The old world dissolved and the new world, the old heaven dissolved and the new heaven. So I saw new heaven and new earth. And then I understood everything. This is your timeline. And the left is the starting point from Genesis creation up to the tipping point. What was the great East and West Chisholm? in 1054 AD and then on the right side 
we will have the complete book of Revelation, a total revelation there. How, did, how does the book of Revelation start? It starts with the churches, the seven churches, to clean up the seven churches, to overcome for all the churches to become better. So what happened after 1054 AD? A separation of the churches, a restoration, a reformation. This also included later 1517, Martin Luther, with the further reformation and, and the establishment of the Protestant churches. It is a continually flow within the book of Revelation. And then what happens when the church age in the book of Revelation finished? In chapter 4, verse 1, what happened? A door in heaven will open, the escape of the bride. And then what will happen at this time? What's then? The opening of the seals. And the opening of the seals, the seal period is a time of the Antichrist. When Antichrist will hunt down the Christians, it's a totally parallel to what happened. Only vice versa in the time after Jesus Christ. Now it is upside down. Now you have the hunt of the Christians and the establishment of the assemblies of love and righteousness, the societies of the rose, a restoration of the first assemblies in the book of Acts. Everything in this wonderful timeline. And then what happened after these assemblies of love and righteousness, the societies of the rose were operating parallel to Antichrist, standing strong in the fire of Antichrist. What happened then? Then Jesus came down on Mount Zion. Is it not where we are heading? Is this not our path? Is this not that we go to Mount Zion? Jesus is coming down with Mount Zion, and we will be there. And when Jesus has raptured us into paradise, what will not yet be on earth? This Mount Zion will be paradise. If Jesus has raptured us into paradise. Then, and sealed the 144,000, then, and only then, the temple will be built. And then Jesus will be within the temple. I do not know if the temple will be built in Jerusalem or if the temple will be built on Mount Zion. I have no idea. That one I have not seen. Only then the next step was Jesus coming to Mount Zion and then I saw the brand new temple. Like it was described in Ezekiel. And then afterward I saw Jewish people because it's a time period. What says the book of Revelation? When the trumpets are blowing, this is the Jacob's trouble, the time of the Jews. And this I saw in that revelation from heaven, the time of the Jews. Jesus on Mount Zion, temple be built, the time of the Jews. And then I saw the snake, the dragon, Satan, on earth. As it is written in the book of Revelation, Satan will be thrown down onto earth. And that will be the end, three and a half years within the last seven years. And then he will take over these places and he will put somebody into that freshly built temple. And Jesus and all the people in paradise will go somewhere else. They will separate themselves from this site so that Satan will get his time because the time is allotted to him. And then after that time, the fight in Armageddon, and then I saw paradise on earth, the millennium kingdom, Jesus ruling like a king for the whole world. Our Lord Savior is king on this earth because Satan's time was over. And then what happened afterwards, after the millennium? New Jerusalem is coming down, together with the bride, coming down, New Jerusalem, and then New Heaven and New Earth. And I saw all this in the timeline. I will make a drawing for this for tomorrow, and I will show it to you that you have a picture that you can also download it. I will make you a link that you can download it. A fantastic revelation, and it explains everything in perfect. Now the whole book of Revelation is laid down. 
in a timeline. And we know that Jesus will come down on Mount Zion at the sixth seal. We know this because then the time of the wrath of the Lamb will start. The people will try to hide, but they cannot. And this is a time not only of the new temple, this is also the time of the 144,000 and the time of the two witnesses. About the two witnesses, I also have a brand new revelation that the Lord has shown me. And that's fitting perfectly with our mission and what we do. If you look at the Mount of Transfiguration, you will see who? Jesus and Moses and Elijah. And then I got a revelation about this. This revelation said, Michael, what is Moses standing for? What is Moses standing for? What is Moses mostly known for? To bring the people out of Egypt and to stand firm against the Pharaoh. Right? So, now if the spirit of Moses comes back now in this time period to assist the remnant, what is the spirit telling you? Since you are not in Egypt, but now you are in bondage and slavery to the world. So that spirit of Moses will tell you to come out of the world and to stand firm against the Antichrist. This is the seal tribulation period. And for this seal tribulation period, the spirit of Moses and Elijah will come and will guide you towards Mount Zion. So Moses now will take you out of the world and make you strong to stand against Antichrist with the help of the Lord. Now, what stands Elijah for? What was Elijah known for? Elijah was a prophet who stand against Jezebel. And Jezebel represented Babylon. And Jezebel represented false religions, false domination, false doctrines, idolatry, and all that stuff. So now Elijah stands, stands the fight against Babylon and they're coming out of Babylon and to come to the new altar of love, unity and support. And Moses stands for to come out of the world and stand strong against Antichrist, the ruler of the world in the seal tribulation period. And now you have all together and now everything is explained what happened in the Mount of Transfiguration. These two spirits will come to guide you out of the world and out of Babylon so that you clean yourself, that you separate yourself. As it says, 144,000 who will be chosen from this group that separate themselves are virgins. These people that have never touched Babylon. These people most likely are never, maybe they were even in this time period new. I don't know, but they will be special people who were not involved in this bad behavior before. And they have come out and made themselves clean, perfectly clean, without spot and wrinkle. But they are not the bride. The bride has gone to the third heaven. But the remnant now walks towards Mount Zion in the spirit of Moses and Elijah to come out of the world, to come out of Babylon. Everything is laid open in front of you through the Holy Spirit. A fantastic revelation in the last days. And I believe that has something to do with the days of 16th and 17th of July. There is a transformation. There, something has come down from heaven. Something that will now go in a dual way. One way it will teach us, as it's teaching us right now, the revelation, the timelines, the spirits, that will teach us to go to Mount Zion. And the other side is the dark side that will now bring forth the Antichrist. This has happened on the 16 to 17. God has opened heaven and something has come down. And understanding is open now. And we can move now forward into the glory of the Father. With his knowledge, with his fiery tongue above our heads. Now with a great understanding that everything what we do is corrected. Everything is that we have to fulfill it now, that we have to gather the people and take them out, out of the world and out of Babylon, in the spirit of Moses and Elijah. 
So if you do not understand this video, then I do not know anymore. You are called for us to do that, so join me. There are far too little people at Triple Grace or at these videos. Share it. This is holy wisdom that I present to you. The path is there and we have to walk it now. The time has come. Revelation is given to you. Now it is your choice to stay in the world, die as a murderer or become the friend of Antichrist. Or take this wisdom and knowledge and go through the door, come out of the world and out of Babylon and walk that path to Mount Zion. And then you will be raptured into paradise and be with the Lord and our Father Yahweh forever and ever. It is your choice. Listen to this video several times to understand. And tomorrow I will give you a downloadable drawing about the timeline. And I also write something down about the spirit of Moses and the spirit of Elijah. Now everything is given to you. And we at Triple Grace have created for you the structure that you can use. The assemblies of love and righteousness the societies of the Rose, who will be separated from the world and from Babylon. And will come together in love, unity and support, in sharing and caring, and in supporting one another and in lifting up the needy. Everything what the Father is asking you for. And do we do that in our name? Of course not. We do that in the name of the Father and in the footsteps of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So now I want to end here. Don't want to add anything to it. Listen to it again. This was the revelation of the heavenly kingdom. Listen to it. Very, very important. Get a great understanding of it. Please. Listen and follow it. If you're guided to help us in this mission and you want to help us with financial support donations, you find the links in the description box below. Please also pray for us that we get more and more revelation and that we can guide and lead you on that middle, the straight and narrow path without any mistakes and only with the words from heaven. I thank you that you are here with me and that you have intended this video. I love you all so dearly, and I hope that you understand it and walk with me that path to Mount Zion. Because I want to be with all of you, I want to be in paradise. I want that you are all my neighbors in the mansions, and that we can mingle every day together in the heavenly realm. Thank you. Thank you that you listened and that you are part of this great ministry towards Mount Zion. Thank you. Have a blessed day and I will see you again tomorrow with the downloadable drawings and with more information. Have a great day. Maranatha.